In the 20, December 23rd event, um, the most notable damage that we saw was the, the tower. Um, there was a significant crack that had developed um, basically from the top of the north tower where the, the east wall and the south wall kind of intersect and that crack really generates from the top right down and, um, and the buttress too on that um, eastern side of the tower um, has, uh, severely, has been severely compromised and massive damage and um, that eastern wall really is starting to lean out. Um, in my opinion it won't take much of an aftershock for that um, eastern wall to collapse through the north porch. With the um, ongoing aftershocks from uh, December 23rd and they haven't been large aftershocks, um, uh, what we've noticed is that the, uh, the, the west porch is starting to slump significantly to the north. Um, the buttresses there have now collapsed and um, with the loss of that, that support um, it doesn't gonna, it's not going to take much for, uh, for, the, for the West Porch to really collapse. Um, the December 23rd event um, really um, demolished or, or the, the, the rose window around the rose window collapsed significantly uh, in the 23rd event. So with the south wall, um, the, the buttresses are starting, starting to um, really shake themselves loose. Um, uh, Pre-December 23rd, uh, the cracks were visible um, but not significant I wouldn't consider um, and then with the 23rd event um, the the middle section of the aisle on the south wall the buttresses really have uh, the cracks have opened up wide the, the buttresses have taken a hammering um, also on the south wall uh, the the high gable end of the south chapel um, the buttresses at about two-thirds the way up have got significant cracks those cracks have opened up um, and they really do propagate from the top down to the bottom um, and there's a noticeable lateral displacement I would say in the order of 70-75 mils. Um, with um, work progressing on the BNZ site, um, they've been there since, uh, well, for about a month. Um, they raised concerns um, a week ago uh, that the cracks on that south wall, the buttresses on the south wall and the gable end of the um, South Chapel wall had opened up and they raised concerns back through Sarah um, and asked us to confirm that the, um, st uh, the, the, the protection works around the containers uh, was um, adequate uh, in the event of a, um, an aftershock and if um, part of that wall collapsed. So we reconfirmed that um, the, the lower level containers are filled with water, about 25,000 litres, and that the top containers are locked in place so that would contain any um, spill that we would get. After the, the 23rd event, um, engineers for the church went into the side of the cathedral um, and look, they limited their time for about three to five minutes. Uh, they took a lot of photos. Um, as a result of those photos, um, they won't need anyone else in there. Uh, we have copies of the photos and the photos really show that um, the, the softer Amaru stone has um, severe shear cracking on um, really the south wall, uh, the uh, east wall and um, not only have we got shear cracking but we're getting out of plane displacement too of the walls so um, really the, the damage that we see on the outside is reflected and is really showing significant degradation over time on the inside but as a result of that um, those photos that were taken, the damage they saw, uh, they considered to be far too dangerous to be in there and they lock the doors and, and they hold the key. So it's going to be very difficult for the deconstruction. Um, the, the damage is significant. Uh, the failures uh, or partial collapsing that may occur in, in, a, in, a, in an aftershock, and it's not going to take big ones, um, these blocks and, and the stonework that you see will, will go. Uh, so putting people and workmen close to it to do any form of deconstruction is going to be extremely dangerous. Um, the working through methodologies around removing the stained glass windows, there's getting worked on now, and, and also the deconstruction method of uh, the cathedral globally. Um, so we'll be looking very closely at that. Health and safety of the personnel and the workers are our utmost um, concern, and so we'll be, we'll be examining that very, very closely.